It's Jeffrey's turn. <laughs> hey, Jeffrey. <laughs> Hi, Jeffrey. Welcome to the Atheist Experience. Hello. What would you like to talk about today? Hello, Shannon. Um, this Hi. is my first time speaking speaking to you and uh, Forrest. Uh, yeah, it looks like Forrest. I've never spoken yep. to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, great to meet you, Jeffrey. To both of you, and good afternoon. Uh, it looked like when I tuned when I tuned in, it looked like you guys were talking about whether or not God created the two genders or not. Oh, that was the poll in our live chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was one of the prompts mm-hmm. we had. Yeah, yeah, I responded to that poll. That's kind of how I'm interacting with the show at this point. Okay. Um, what do you think? I hadn't called in. Oh, haven't called into the atheist experience since I got hung up on by Matt. Uh, almost, well, maybe a couple years ago now. <laughs> well, let's see if you can have a better track record this time. So what was your answer to the question? What was, the, what was your answer to the question? I believe, he, I believe he, yeah, I believe he definitely did. I responded, yes, he did create two genders. Okay. Okay. And do you have a justification for that? A justification for that. Yeah, hmm. I skip skipping over whether or not God exists because obviously we're going to disagree there. Just like as far as the gender thing is concerned. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, don't, I I'm I'm really not sure how to answer that. Uh, why do you think that? That's, that's you you said that you do you. think that. So why do you think that? Uh, just simply because I'm a Christian that believes uh, what the the Bible testimony. Simply. Okay. I can put it so just as simply as that. So just really quick, are you aware of the fact and that And also and sec- also I can add I can I'm sorry to interrupt you. I, I can also just add fine. just from my just from my own experience as well. Just from observation of my own life and looking at my own gen- per, you know, particular gender and observing other yeah. you know, of the opposite gender. So So I really quickly and I, this, this is not to uh, be observed. Okay, yeah. Jeffrey, one so, sec. So, just let Forrest go. Yeah, I just want to know, like, and this is this is not cool. to pull some elitist bullshit argument. I, I genuinely am asking: Have you ever studied any mm-hmm. anthropology or any really any biology, but specifically anthropology? Hopefully, I can't like, beyond like a high have, school. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, in a, in a setting, in a in a uh, you know academic setting or anything like that. Okay. Just like I said, right, just so th- own own life experience. Yeah. So the reason why I ask is just because I don't want to be a dick and be up here like, well, you, these scientists say these things, if that's something you've never had the opportunity to experience. So just so you know, uh, uh, I know you've never talked to me before. I'm a biologist. Um, I have multiple degrees in biology and I, I currently am studying bioanthropology, uh, which is the human biology is what I focus on now. Um, and just something that we are now currently aware of and have been studying for a long time. Um, number one is that sex and gender are different things. So sex biologically okay. is, is discerning between what you could call male and female. Gender is not a biological construct. Gender is a social construct. It's a way in which okay. a person is, it's, it's a, how you say this, a reflection and a representation of a person's expectations and a society's expectations of the roles given to that particular biological sex. So gender is something that changes from culture to culture, from generation to generation, from person to person, sometimes from day to day. Uh, gender is a very fluid thing, and it is not a binary. It's a total spectrum. So right off the bat, you know, the question is, is there two genders? Um, you're talking about something that several other cultures throughout history have had more than two, have had a fluidity between them, have, have had, you know, totally different concepts. And the binary framework that we use today of talking about, you know, males and females, men and women, boys and girls. Um, this is at, at this point, something that is very outdated, obviously puritanical and parochial in nature, very much Eurocentric and arguably rooted in white supremacy because it was, you know, these European explorers that I call it, use the word explorer loosely that bulldozed across all of these other cultures, all of these other indigenous ontologies that had totally different concepts of gender and replaced them with their Judeo-Christian framework that you are now arguing for at this very moment. So there have been countless millions of people throughout history that did not accept the gender binary that we are trying so hard to adhere to today. 
And also the simple fact that it is a social construct means that it's fluid and it's something that can change at any moment. And all of that is just talking about gender, which is often related with sex, but sex also isn't a binary. So that's a whole other argument that I, I don't want to talk your ear off with at this moment. Does that make sense to you, Jeffrey, what I've just said? Do you have anything to, to counter that with or, or anything you want to say about that? Yeah, I'm hearing everything you're saying. And what I get from it is that I rushed in to answer that poll question, I think, too quickly because I had, I guess, conf confounded uh, sex with gender. And Lots of people that's do. why I Nobody was so did. hard. Yeah, and because you made it, you know, made it clear that it's more a social construct and it's a little more involved with my understanding of the question, I may I may reconsider my answer to the question. Uh, awesome. Maybe I will well, also and the I, answer to it. I also want to be question. clear again, like I just said. Also, biological sex is not a binary either, like not in any species really, it, it, not even humans. Um, so, like a lot of people mm -hmm. like to throw out that you're either XX or XY, but like that's not even close to the truth and that's also not how we define sex so like uh sex isn't a binary either mm -hmm. sex gender and sexual orientation they're very very often conflated and they're very often uh said that they're all binary systems and they're just not yeah we do so okay, it much really, it really sounds very i'm sorry uh, I was just going to say, I was just going to quickly add that we like, we do so much that we don't realize psychologically when it comes to making these assessments as well. Like if you look at me um, and look at Forrest, like um, immediately most people are going to assume that I'm a woman and assume that he's a man because of our gender representations and our social roles and how we publicly identify vocal inflections, yada, yada, yada. But you really, really, really have no idea what my genetic makeup is. Like you've not seen, nor have I seen my genetic screening. I have no idea what my chromosomes consist of. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't know. Most of us do not know all of these things, but we make these there's assessments more, based more, on- There's more than meets the eye. There's right, we make these the assessments eye. based on cultural norms that we've like taken in and internalized and then use when we're assessing people that we interact with in the outside world. And more and more today, people are pushing up against that and saying, okay, well, that binary doesn't actually fit me. And because it doesn't fit me, I don't identify with it. Um, I'm carving out like a space that makes more sense for me. Um, and that butts up against Judeo-Christian principles surrounding um, what societal roles even for for people who are male or female should be and wanting people to adhere to those roles and that's why there's so much pushback when it just is the case that throughout time like Forrest said um people have presented it in a multitude of different ways and that just is the way it is and it's just it's framed based on the societal structure where any one person is going to fall on that spectrum it's not as simple as people want to make it out to be yeah nothing in biology is basic biology right. and it's it's hard that we want to cram everybody down into boxes but that just isn't how life works you know mm -hmm. right life is a little more complicated and in-depth and there's levels to everything i can understand i, I definitely appreciate that so i, yeah. I guess it really I, I notice uh a lot of a lot of uh i guess anger people people react with a lot of anger whenever someone approaches the subject very simplistically like i uh, of course did with seeing the poll and i jumped right in and just said bam you know i know where i stand on this and not didn't yeah. consider every all the things that you're bringing to the to the table so i i can appreciate well, in all that. fairness so, why yeah, would you, you ever have it. needed to you know you, that's 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 a bunch of different people's experience and so like this is something that we're just now starting to talk about so like it's awesome that you're willing to hear us out <laughs> that's that's great yeah that's great. Absolutely. It is good. Absolutely. I love I love the freedom of being able to discuss these things. And I and I, I lament the fact that many of my uh, uh, fellow people of faith uh, don't have the patience to at least hear other people's point of view out and civilly um, discuss the matter without getting so emotional. You know, I really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah I've, I've been guilty in the past of being emotional. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And will be in the future. <laughs> <laughs> will be in the future it not I've immune been, i've been guilty myself so that's why that's why mm. i recognize it so okay thank you guys for your time you have a, a very uh blessed uh, or 
Let me see. I, I'm sorry. I got to watch my life. You can just say good. Have a good day. <laughs> don't, don't trigger me, Jeffrey. I'll go off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get real emotional. <laughs> oh, by the way, Jeff, right. if, if you're you uh, if you're into reading, uh, I recommend there's a really cool book called Evolution's Rainbow by Dr. Joan Roughgarden out of Stanford University. It's a fantastic breakdown of sex, gender, sexual orientation, just all the best knowledge that we had up until that book was written. It's, it's a wonderful book. And it's it's a bit of a slog to get through sometimes if you're not super into biology. But if you are super interested in learning more about this, that was one of my, my favorite books to recommend. Thank you, Forrest, for that recommendation. Thanks. I will look into it. You, you guys have a good afternoon. You, you too. Care, Jeffrey. Right. Thanks, Jeffrey. Later. Bye. Oh, what a super nice guy. That call. Yeah, that got worked out better than, I, better than <laughs> most of the calls that start like that end up working out. That was nice. It's a nice change of pace for us. I'm glad we were here for it. Absolutely.